Okay, welcome to Mr. Ridley's YouTube channel and we're going to look in this clip at joining metal and the method we're going to look at here is pop riveting. So pop riveting uses these things. These are called, let's say, pop rivets. They consist of a... I'm trying to focus. They consist of an aluminium um, this one's an aluminium this part here is aluminium a rivet and then here is a hardened steel um, shank or pin and that's st the pin is just um, wasted as a thin bit in the end here which will cause it to snap off so um, it's fitted using generally this is a pop rivet tool and it's fitted using this tool. There are slightly different types. Here's a this is called a lazy tongs pot rivet tool, and this is slightly slightly different. But the one you just really need to know about is this one. So it's quite simple to use. If we take a, we're going to use steel here. So we've got two a two pieces of steel here, and we've dr drilled a four millimeter hole because this is a four millimeter rivet, and the rivet goes through. The, the two pieces of steel you can see that and we've got a shoulder there and then we connect our pot rivet and as we pull it up the pot rivet pulls the pin the pot riveter sorry pulls the pin backwards I hope you can see that and breaks it off so then the pin comes out, get the pin out, the pin will come out, we poke it through there. There's the pin falling out, so the pin's come off and it leaves us with a rivet like that. So that side is there and this side is domed over and is the, the, one of the benefits of um, pop riveting is using the, the, the tool pulls the two pieces of material together so you can see these two pieces are quite fitting together quite well um, it is most people consider it permanent they can be drilled out if I got a drill bit now there four millimeter drill bit and drilled into there it would actually drill this this the head of this off but it can't be undone with spanners or other tools um, it's not as strong as welding, but one of the benefits is that you only need to get to one side of the work. So for a nut and bolt, where you'd have to put a nut and a bolt and get to the back to be able to hold the nut and bolt, this, if you've got a hole here where you can't get to the back of it, you can use a pot riveter. And it's sometimes used in aeroplane construction for that um, reason. We've also got here a... Um, piece of acrylic so we've got a piece of acrylic there and a piece of mild steel and if we put this together get a pot rivet tool and you can see as, as you're pulling this tool up it's and then it, it snaps off the pin there's a domed bit on the back and you can see that that's gripped that quite well that clears the pin out you can put the pin you just drop that one again so just do this second one it fits in we fit the root through And pins broke off and there is a piece of acrylic and mild steel riveted together with pop rivets so that is pop rivets in joining metal joining metal by using pop rivets